What's up everybody, Florian from Fremen Creative and in this video we're going to be starting with building a landing page. Now this video is not really meant to be one of those where somebody points out how to make a landing page in 10 to 15 minutes using some kind of templates. We're going to be using some templates but we're definitely going to make sure that it's kind of more our own than some of the other tutorials out there on YouTube. So. Um, I've made a, like a little sketch of what, wants, what, what, what I want to achieve, which is basically that I just have like a, basically a full page uh, header with a background image, a little bit of an about text, um, some of the services we're going to offer, uh, a little sign up box and then a footer. So and by the way, the, the project that we're going to focus on is a um, fake hotel that we're basically uh, just going to use for this. Uh, projects so we're just going to build a little lo um, landing page to show that it's opening soon and what it's going to offer and all that by the way like this video um, assumes that you already have installed WordPress if you haven't then there is a link that's going to be on the screen soon um, leading to instructions there's one additional note though I want to make before the link shows on the screen when I installed it on my web host provider, I was also installing WordFence. Now, um, further in the playlist, I suggest using AMPS as local development. And for some reason, WordFence and AMPS don't play very well together. So if you're going to develop this locally, don't install WordFence. With that, let's go on and move into the video. So we're basically uh, now at the point where we just have an empty uh, WordPress install. It's uh, even just still called my blog. And uh, of course, I mean, we'll, we want to have something different than this. We're not going to use the uh, 2017 theme. We're going to be using one of the top three themes available uh, in the WordPress rep uh, repository, which is the Sydney uh, WordPress theme. So basically what we uh, are going to do we're going to go to themes and we're going to add the uh, Sydney theme. Hold on, add new of course. Is that popular? It might even pop up up here. Not yet, just yet. So let's go and look for it. Of course, live installing some things here, so this may make it a little bit slower. Yes, we're good, so we can activate it. And so now I can go to visit site, and you'll see that things have changed a little bit. Um, but of course, we want to have something uh, a little bit more. So um, now, before we um, continue, we need to go and install some uh, plugins. Um, that are uh, recommended by the theme, so it's the page builder by site origin and it's the Sydney toolbox, so that's just some custom fields so we can go and install those and then we can go and activate those as well so that we're all basically good to go now the first avenue of uh, making this thing look better is to go to the customizer and the, in the case of this uh, Sydney theme there's quite some nice options here that already um, can send us on our way. So first let's cover the uh, general one. So um, here we don't need to do anything. Uh, I'm satisfied for now with the page rep, what it does in terms of paddings. So that's good. Uh, let's here just um, um, change the title so I've just decided to call it Seaside Resort for the lack of a better name so uh, we can just put up a tagline so uh, the resort you've always dreamt of opening soon now I have already created a little logo so and by the way like I think I forgot to mention like in the in the intro if you want me to um, go in more detail to do through the mock-up process to, to show you how I normally go about this with a client just hit a thumbs up on this video and I will definitely uh, run a different um, playlist 
to show you just a little bit in more detail. I don't consider it specifically WordPress related, but it might be cool in case you're interested. So without further ado, let's upload the logo. Choose image. And this, as you can see, the theme where it takes pretty good care of it, you know, positions it properly in the uh, top left corner. So not much to worry about here. So um, I don't have the side icon on hand immediately. Uh, we can fix that later, I guess. So um, now we're going to fix this header. And by the way, the header in this thing is basically just referred to this entire uh, full screen thing. Uh, some called splash area or whatever. Um, but they just call it header. So we have a full screen slider. Um, I guess we can also just go with image. That's a little bit different. Let's stick with the full screen slide because I just want it to be full height. So we can no doubt further um, fix it. Let's see. Let's just uh, remove this third slide. I guess we can also just remove the uh, second slide. So here we have basically stop the text slider. So we now only have one image. So that should um, make it all a little bit better. It doesn't seem to be going 100% as I intended. Uh, but let's just load in the background and otherwise we'll have some additional fixing to do here. I know there's some settings that um, elsewhere perhaps that guide this. Let's see. Let's make sure that this is also empty. So here we have a uh, slider speed in milliseconds, so we just go and make that zero, I guess. So that means literally that we're just going to have this one here. So I guess it's just the uh, customizer that's um, having a little bit of issue dealing with this. Now we're looking good, so that's, uh, that's the header slider fixed for us, basically. So um, header media is something we don't have to worry about. And menu style, uh, I want it to be sticky. There will be, pro will be probably some edits later on uh, because currently, of course, you see um, it in red and probably won't want to see that differently. So we will have to change some colors. Um, basically, it will kind of depend on the um, what we need. All right, block options. So that's classic. So that's down here. Um, I'm not going to touch that at the moment. Fonts. There is an option in this in this uh, theme to to change uh, some Google fonts. Um, let's, let's actually go and do that because in this theme it's not particularly the most uh, well carried out uh, thing. So I chose here the Source Sounds Pro, um, and here down it shows Railway. So say I want to have this both open sounds, we need to go and a little bit more. Um, we need to put in a little bit more effort to properly do that. So if we want to achieve this, we need to go to fonts.google.com because if the uh, theme is just pulling out the, the fonts uh, from there. So um, let's say let's put some open sense in here. Um, I think the previous one. So it's Source Sense Pro at the moment. So 400, we need 400 italic and 600. I guess we can go and do that. So um, in Google Fonts, you can click select this font. That will say one family selected. So, and then we hit customize. So I want the regular uh, 400, the regular 400 italic, and I want the semi bold 600. So it will give me a little warning now to say the load time is moderate. I guess it's gonna be okay, especially in the, uh, um, in the world of today. So here we are. Um, so as we'll say like, this part here, the open plus sense 400, 400, iron 600, that's the thing you need. So, and then we need to make sure as well that we um, uh, change the font down here. So we can change this. And we can change this to open sense. There we are. We just changed the font of the uh, of the theme. 
Um, I mean, open sounds is one of the more common ones. Um, so this affects, by the way, the um, body font rather than the header font. So in case you're wondering why the uh, Welcome to Sydney has not changed, it's because this is the body font. So this, is effect, this affects uh, this Welcome to WordPress line, for example. Uh, this is your first post. So, um, by the way, with this like you're uh, also seeing the first signs of CSS a little bit. So we're going to, of course, go and we will go and use that a little bit later as well. Um, but this is like your very first taste of some CSS that's involved. It's a little bit more complicated than that, um, but it's cool as well to, to see that a little bit. So with that, we have now changed the um, changed some of the fonts, and now I really just want to go and change one of the colors actually, because um, the red is completely out of line uh, with everything else I'm seeing here. So uh, we can just go and use change that to something more blue, I guess. Being a seaside resort, we can uh, go and do that. So, um, what else do we have? Um, general, we have the header option. I guess we can also change the menu background if we want to. I assume that applies to that one over there. Green is a little bit odd, I would say. No, it doesn't work too bad. I'd like go with something more dark blue or something like that. Yeah, we can always give it some thought, but it's nice to see some kind of options like this. We can also uh, change the color of the top menu items here. So um, right now it's, and there's a link on it, I presume. So that makes um, that causes basically it to be light blue. But as, if I understand correctly here, yeah, it is already set to black. So the moment we're going to be uh, entering a menu later on, it will automatically change. So, um, of course, there's quite a lot more to do here, uh, so uh, we're not quite done yet by any means. Um, but for the sake of um, keeping this tutorial structured, uh, I'm just going to leave here. And in the next uh, video, I'm going to uh, work a little bit more on the uh, front page design and make sure that that looks really cool as well. So uh, there's a lot more to come. Uh, for now, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.